Okay, hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be what a lot of you have been asking. Today's the variant system and the carburetor. We're going to take both of them off. This is the most reply I give to people when they say their bike's not running very well or they're not getting speed out of their bike. And this is because of the rollers and the variator, it's all jammed up, or your carburetor's not set up right, dirty, etc. So today we're going to just take off the air filter carburetor and the case and variator with very few tools now just to answer what I get a lot of about the uh, impact guns and I use a 14 mil big bar and a claw hammer I started this 10 years ago they weren't out then and you didn't have a 150 watt compressor to do it either now they're out by all means use them if you have them I'm still going to do it the old-fashioned way because I like it that way. It's nice and easy. I know what tolerance I'm putting on them as well. You can't really use a drill because you just turn the engine over unless you want to impact one of them as well. Nice and simple. Let's get on with it. And here we are on the floor. There should be a bolt that holds this one in. Mudguard came yesterday. That's good. All the parts actually came. Now... This is a bugger to get out this way, so it's easy if you've got the bucket out, take it there, and there should be a bolt that holds it on and just drills into there. So the bolt snapped, and that's why this was cable tied. I very often don't even leave it on there, I actually take it off and throw it away um, because you get more air in and you haven't got to mess around with the tuning, which is the air petrol mix on here. This is how simple this is to get your air filter off. In here, normally, star shape, is your air filter. We're going to check that out. Don't forget about it. And you can wash these with only foam. You can wash them. Here's your carburetor. And this does have an adjustment on it. Now, I've said to you guys before about this adjustment. Oh, there you go. It's not. It's an unadjustable one. Okay. You can't get a screwdriver in it. And I've shown you simple hacksaw. This is only alley, that's copper, copper. You just cut a nice line into it, get a screwdriver, tap a little bit, and then you can adjust it. This is set. As it's running, I'm actually going to leave it as it is. Fuel lines, okay? The top one is petrol. P3, vacuum. I call this a vacuum all the time. But this is the petrol in here. There's a little air fill air filter <laughs> there's a little filter in there that filters the petrol so you don't have to have an inline okay but that's simple as that this is the fuel and the bottom one is the air that's a massive air pipe and it's someone's had to put two of these Ghibli clips on here it should be a small thin pipe so it still works this is a lot of messing around you get if this isn't fitting properly or they've gone hard or you can just pull them off like this you know I mean that's that's screwed up there tight but it's not right you could suck in air, which means that it's a bitch starting in the morning. Now, don't worry about the dirt, and we've got a simple carburetor spray to clean that up. Push that one down. This I often get asked about. This comes loose. You have to tap back in, or you can mastic it back in. And this is for your oil. And it's all coming through, lucky enough. Just see a little shiny bit there. You may not be see it by camera, but I know. I've had before people say that their bike just stopped working, moaning and so on, and I've took this off and this is empty. So I know they run out of oil. Lying little shit bags. This is just a simple 8 mil. So simple and just comes off nicely. Now what happens to these is they turn, so what you'll get sometimes is where you tighten them up and they keep turning. That's no good. No good whatsoever. Because you're not getting a seal, which means this thing's flapping in the wind. Now, this is your needle. Try and keep things clean, because we're going to clean up with carburetor spray anyway. But this is what you want to take out, the needle. There are settings you can do with this. I wouldn't mess with it. In here, there's this needle here. You can take this off by running the spring up and putting it down again. And this needle you can adjust, but that's a nice straight needle. Don't worry about it moving at all. Nice straight needle. I'm not going to mess with that whatsoever. We're just going to plop that down here nicely out of the way now we've got the carburetor this is your auto choke dirty cover take that off as well so it's really really simple to get this carburetor off give it a little clean now when I um, still time when I started this bike up I decided to rev it the other day and it revved up 
and hit a peak. Normally they'll keep going, you know. This did not do that. This just revved up and hit this little peak. Now the young girl said to me she was getting 45 mile an hour of it, and that's not bad, you know. That's a quite a good speed. Um, they will go a little bit more. I had some arse say to me, My AC, I'm going to piss over yours. It's not a bleeding pissing competition, you fool. I'm just saying, generally, the AC ones are faster. Some dicks out there. Oh, I had another troll yesterday moaning about moped. On the bloody logbook. Let me get out of my pram again. Hey, fucking idiots. Right, that's got petrol in it, so we're just going to put that there. Okay? Might change both of these yet. Now, somewhere in there... <laughs> Remember, this is going to be full of petrol. Somewhere in here is two little screws. Hopefully they're not rounded. Which looks like they are. Oh, there we go. One. We might as well clean all this up, mightn't we? Anything boring, I'm just going to fast forward the little bits like I'm doing these screws because well that's lucky they've both come out really 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 well now what you don't want to do is get any of that detritus I love that word detritus you don't want to get any of this in back in the carburetor okay because that's just gonna go crap in there just clip there so we want to just well we can just get rid of this and this just wiggles out now you can adjust these by turning this round but as we know it runs perfect we're going to clean it up right I've done hundreds of these there's that little bit there you cannot adjust hacksaw it you can adjust it that's your idle adjust there and all that does is put the screw in and out and that's what often bends the needle because people put it all the way in stupidly if you're going to adjust this, remember where it was. Screw it all the way in and take it out again to remember where you are. Okay? This is going to be full of petrol. When you turn it upside down, the petrol will come out. Not that you can see on camera, but the petrol is nicely coming out. And there we go. Petrol out. Good screwdriver. Bit of leverage. And there we go. You don't need all the time to replace the little gasket in here you, you don't I've done it many many times if you're back on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off etc then yeah it isn't going to be a bad idea and that's nice and clean people ask about this jet well it's the idle jet I mean I don't mess with that one that's the main jet I'm looking for oh it's nice and clean I mean, this is a good healthy one here let's just take this out and see what it is It wasn't actually very tightly in, but it's not in the day. And that's 56, so it's nice and standard. So I'm going to put that gently there. I'm now going to spray in here, all around there, and here. Now, some people say about the float, my, my carburetor keeps leaking f um, petrol. It can be this if you suck this and stop and suck start. Done videos, watch them. Um, remember to have this bit around here. I'm just going to clean up everywhere now. I'm going to spray that nice and clean and then we're going to get that back on and then we're going to get this off. So, watch the carburetor videos, I'm not going to bore you any more of this one. Next come on, this will be back on here, nice and clean, and then we're going to get this off. And just put it back on again, exactly like I just took it off. If you've buggered it up and these now are rounded in here, you can get a nut this side, get a longer bolt and put them through. They must be tight, have to be tight. And notice this hasn't got the little ring around it, it's got this one here, it's brilliant. Just that gasket there sometimes doesn't work that well. But we're going to clean this up. So, when you come back, that's going to be back on. Carburetor clean, back on. This is the part people often get wrong. It has to go this way, not the slide way. And then it just slit, sits in, okay? Now, what often happens with this, in now I know but can you see in there what often happens is this doesn't go nicely down 
it hits in there. Hopefully you can see that. That's what happens. Okay, it has to go all the way nicely down. If it's jamming up, that's why when you start it and it revs excessively. Don't forget to put that one on. And I've put a new pipe on here that's nice and secure. And this is the one you suck to prime the carburetor, like in my bloody videos. Watch them. Okay, what you didn't see me do was take out the float, take out the um, adjustable um, idle here, and the um, idle jet. You didn't see me take it apart, it's on my videos. And this, what I said, going in there, it has to slot back into the jet. What it often happens, it does all this business. It's got to go nicely in the hole without being rude. And it had a 56 standard jet in there. And it had a 56 standard jet. So this is a standard jet, standard carb, everything standard. This is a standard air filter. It's not oily, which means it's running fine a little bit there. I'm gonna wash this in just ordinary soapy water, completely dry out, put it back in the box and put this back on. I know this will run. What we're gonna test for is whether I need to put this back on or not, whether it runs better without it. And it's got the sports exhaust. I think so anyway. So we're gonna clean that. And then we're gonna get this bit off. So there we go, a few bolts out. Remember which bolts you took from where, because these most certainly are not original. And they're supposed to be this sort of size. Um, someone's re-drilled them and tapped them and done a good job, to honest with you. You're never gonna have the water amount in here, never. It just it's just not gonna happen. And let's just wiggle, 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 wiggle out. And there we go. Very nice kickstart system. Um, not damaged at all, it's nice to see. All we're going to do this is clean and blow it over. Clutch. Um, well, I couldn't say, it looks alright. Belt looks good. Uh, we're going to have a look at this now. That is not an original speed fight nut on there. Not at all. There's a Bendix. I often go on about these Bendix about them. Um, it just sits in there literally like that. That just flicks out when it needs to electric start. But uh, yeah, I'm not not impressed with that. That's not an original one. Someone's done a bit of work done to that. Uh, it should be uh, 12, 14 or 13 mil. So it's a 13 mil. So I'm gonna claw hammer. As I said, it is just nice and simple. Put everything in the bloody way. Just get the old claw hammer in there. Push your foot up. Get the bar on there, and just leave it undone. Okay nice and easy it will get it off and we're going to have a look at the rollers although it really does look very clean um, it's nice to see that someone said they did it and they have done a nice belt this and this being done but we're going to get it off so far everything he said here that he's done he has um, quite impressed so as you just see that nut i said wasn't original wasn't a nut it was actually onto a bolt never ever seen that before I took the cover off really cagely and it's a, it's, huh, I'm just glad I put it all back on and you can see that. What you should have is this. That is your crank and this is the, the nut that normally goes on. Someone has redone all this so that now the bolt can go in there. Well, as fine as you see, a little bit of powder, cleaned it out. Just follow the usual videos of the variator system. Um, the rollers were okay. Um, quite surprised really but that someone has done a lot of tapping and dying there a lot of work quite impressed but it's not original um, good job I've took that off I know that it's okay for the next person but say it should be a thread and the nut goes on not the sort of bolt system this was going to be the start of part six where I show you putting the battery on so now it's got its own power source that I've put the clocks on now indicators work and the blessed cup of tea when I downloaded the last lot and found that seven minutes of me with the variator wasn't on there that wasn't clever so far this microphone is windy then I put the wind mode on and no one can hear me mm, GoPro 5 I'm not going to take it off and show you again that job there was not a cottage industry, you know, a guy in a shed. That wasn't, that was pristine engineering, master mechanic job. I wouldn't have attempted that. I would have split the engine, took the crank out, put a new crank in, done it properly that way. This person, 
just an amazing job of it. I have to say, an amazing job. Um, it lasts. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but if it was the last owner. Thumbs up to you, mate. You are a master mechanic, definitely. Um, certainly. Anyway, what I've decided to do then is rather having another video, I'm just going to slap all the panels on, put the stickers on, um, and show you running uh, on this video. So it'll be a little longer, there'll be five then, and then we get onto the air rocks. So, yeah. Front mud guard on, sprayed over, front on, it's not moving anywhere. This I went well, that's all nicely done. Screws where it's supposed to be. This is all on properly, that's on properly. So I put one screw here, this stops this from coming out, and that's screwed on. There's all the side now, it's quite pretty, just sprayed over. And say so the original air box on there as well. Tyre's good, brakes good, a few little decals. So I still love the seats, done such a good job of that. But again, all on nicely. The indicator's on. Down, I might have to take that off again. Screw in there. They're not the prettiest, I know, but it's at least it's solid, you know? Same as this one there. This was cracked, wasn't it? I left a little bit of crack there and put a screw in there, and this had nothing here, but again, it's solid. Same as this one, screw in there. That's on there. Not the prettiest, but it's still on. And these are on as well. This side is cracked, but again, it, it won't move. It's solid. So... The exhaust looks better black and the bike it's solid isn't it that's the main thing back light was just a bulb got that sorted and she runs okay i just wanted to show you i had to take it off again sports variator rollers Mm, feel a little bit heavy, but on a closer inspection, can you see they have got little flat spots in them? Okay, I thought they'd be alright, but they're not. What's happening is she pulls away and then you hit a plateau 15 mile an hour, bah, and then she very, very slowly. That's that's not a speed fight, that's what we're called speed fights for. So Pretty sure I've got another set of them in the shed. That's a nice little sports one, nice and clean. Not seen one like that before. I said normally you've got the, the bolt bit on there. So that's a, a nice little bit of work. I knew I might have to take it off again because when I did the video it didn't clip on. I did say they had little flat spots but because they were so nice I thought they'd be all right. Right, let's see if I've got some new ones and replace these. If not, I'm gonna have to buy some more. So these were coming up as eight grams with the tiny little flat spot in them. What it was doing, it would start away, then because of the eight grams, this would open straight up, put it into high gear. The engine itself was like, Ugh, push, gonna go, and that's why it was slowly going up. Probably got to a good top end eventually. No good. Six grams. Now, I've had these before. Much better weight, but they feel a bit rough. It worried me before when I put them in. So I'm going to try them in here. As long as it works okay, I think I'll uh, leave them in there. Uh, if not, I'll order some new ones, six grams, and put them in then. Let's see how this goes. But even though I've only just done it, again, always, always wipe and clean. Look, still, I mean, I only just did these a minute ago. Look at that dirt. I don't know where it comes from to you sometimes. I've only just done this 10 minutes ago and I've only been up and down the road. There we are. Six ground rollers, much better pull away, takes off really nicely, job done.
give that a solid 7 out of 10. Um, I would have liked them maybe to blow all the panels over and then put all new decals on. It's just not worth doing. She's a nice little bike as she is now. Solid, clean the variator. Good to see that. Own power source, brand new battery, clean the carburetor, clean the plug. Now, if someone wants to, it's only a 56 jet, they can upjet this 6064, you can take the link pipe out, put a sports inland air filter in there, and you're going to get fewer miles an hour. Job done. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And check out my next video, which will be Yamaha Air Rocks. That's coming up. Take care of yourselves on the road. Bye bye.